now you can see the obstacles pretty clearly and the arteries running into the back. Uh -huh. Here you can see the arteries on the back of your, mm -hmm. on your retina, yeah. running into your optical disc. Mm -hmm. All right, side one, I'm gonna go on the other side. Now I'm gonna be looking in your other ear. So here you go, here's your first ear. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at here is the tympanic membrane inside your ear. Looking at what we want to see here is the sheen coming off the tympanic membrane, indicating that it's a nice, healthy looking tissue. Give me your forearm here. Place it a couple inches above the joint. Go ahead and rest your arm here on the chair. On the chair. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug the device into the phone. The app is going to come up. And there you go. Now I'm going to hand this to you, and I'm going to let you push the button. Right there. There you go. And so now we can see that the data is starting to be collected. Now one thing I really like about this app is the ability to allow the patient clinician interaction to change a little bit. Uh, the full rundown is blood pressure, weight, uh, pulse oxygenation with a uh, Massimo Pulse Ox, uh, iNetro which does visual acuity, ophthalmoscope, otoscope, stethoscope, ECG, um, and ultrasound. I think we'll see over the next few years a proliferation of more of these devices in the exam room. What we're doing here is meant to, meant to improve the patient-doctor relationship and turn patients into their own good data collectors. you like that video and then you can essentially adjust the contrast intensity or gain so you can just slide it on. These devices are very portable and very compact and in many cases they actually give better images than our traditional tools. It's an iPhone case with two electrodes on the back. Now we're going to snap the iPhone into the iPhone case. We're going to use the Alive Core ECG application. to allow us to look at your heart activity. So after you collect this trace, you have to collect for at least 10 seconds.